Three teenagers from Euless were killed in a car accident in New Mexico. Two of them were football standouts from Trinity High School who committed to major college programs right here on Fox 4. Lynn Kawano is in the newsroom this afternoon with the latest details. Lynn. Dan, there were five people in the SUV that rolled over, all of them related. They were all heading back to Texas. One was a redshirt freshman at Texas A&M University. 19-year-old Polo Manukainu was a standout defensive end at Euless Trinity High School. His 13-year-old brother, Lolo Uhatafe, played football at Euless Junior High School. He's shown here on Facebook. An 18-year-old, Gaius Vayanuku, was a football recruit at the University of Utah. They all died in the crash. Two others in the car were hurt. They are all from Euless. The Toyota Sequoia rolled north of Albuquerque, New Mexico, about 7 o'clock last night. They were heading back to Texas from Utah. New Mexico police say the driver overcorrected on the highway and the SUV rolled several times. Police say only the driver was wearing a seat belt. Just before starting the drive, about 10.30 yesterday morning, Manu Kainut tweeted, 22-hour drive back to Texas on no sleep. Teammate and Texas A&M quarterback Johnny Manziel posted this this morning. Heart hurts waking up to news about Polo. I think I speak for everyone on our team when I say, we love you, brother. You will be missed. A short time ago, Polo's mother talked about her loss. He's not going to be the same. He's just a good boy. And his brother, too. They're both good boys. He loves his school, he loves his family. That's the last word I heard from him. Polo was heavily recruited by four colleges. He narrowed it down live on Fox 4 Sports Sunday last year. You're, you're down to four teams, so let me get you to whittle it down to three. So look at that and, and toss one of them out. <laughs> Gaius Vayanuku also eliminated schools live with our Max Morgan earlier this year. So where are you going? This is it right here. All right, he's got Utah on his hat. <laughs> the two who survived the crash are also relatives. Police have not said why the driver who survived overcorrected. They did say alcohol was not a factor in this crash. Dan. Mm -hmm. All right, thanks very much, Lynn Coano, live in our Dallas newsroom this afternoon.